Good evening, welcome to this edition of Try Not To Laugh. Hello, my head is just right on the O, right by the O, so don't think it's another letter or it's a different name for the show. It still is Try Not To Laugh, an amazing show that is coming up ahead. My name is Chumeka. Glad to know that you are tuned in. Don't ask me how I know. Just know that I know. But be sure to also interact with us through the Diamond TV Zambia Facebook page where we're streaming live at the moment. Hopefully you're having a good weekend so far. Now coming up on the show today, my guest is somebody that I know. Those who are aspiring TV presenters, aspiring journalists are going to be excited about. Especially the, the ladies, the young ladies. If you're watching, you're going to be very excited about the guests we're having today. She is a TV personality, a presenter, producer, news anchor. In fact, most people will know her, remember her, from times, you know, they're interested in watching what's on the news and then they tune into the national broadcaster and then they see her face there. And then others, maybe they're just passing for sitting room and then maybe the dad is the one who's watching the news with his eyes closed and the remote in his hand. Whichever way, you've probably come across her face and her face is going to be on the show today. Talking about Patricia Ellis. Yes, so she is our guest today as she tries not to laugh. It's going to be interesting to find out how that goes. So what's going to happen is we'll be showing her hilarious videos from the internet and just do our best not to laugh. How that's going to go, we'll find out in a bit. Also find out if you can also try not to laugh. Now remember to download the Airtel TV application on your smartphone, that's through your Android device or your iOS device. And uh, once you do this, you're able to watch Diamond TV without being interrupted by pop-up advertising and you're not made to pay anything for subscription. It's just your internet bundles and you wa enjoy watching uh, Diamond TV on the app on the go, even as you move for the rest of the evening. Now we get to interact with my guests who I introduced earlier on. And this is none other than Patricia Ellis. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Chimweka. Um, nice of you to have me here. Yeah, um, <laughs> we're putting you on the other side. You uh, usually, okay. obviously, <laughs> interviewing people, but you are the guest this, this time around. How does that feel? <laughs> uh, if, if I must tell you, I hate being interviewed. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really my favorite thing. I, I, I love being in your seat right now. I feel like I could just yeah. ask you, like, uh, Chumweka, move. Let me just sit here. You come here. Let me interview you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then I think all the time I've kind of gotten used to it. Yeah. I, I, in the beginning, it was horrible. Mm. I remember the first interview I did was on our magazine show yeah. at ZNBC. They had to, like, pursue me for a month yeah. to get to do that interview. Eventually, I did it. It was nerve-wracking. Mm. But in time, I think you get used to it. Yeah. So it's okay. I, I can imagine that. In, sometimes what happens is when you've got a, a guest who's also in the media, yeah. sometimes they find themselves being the host. And then now, as the host, you end up being the guest. So it just ends up... So I hope we won't have that on the show. I'll, I'll try not to beat you. I'll try not to outdo you. Yeah. But um, great to have you here as well. Yeah. Uh, you've you've been in this business for for a very long time. Uh, uh, yeah, I actually remember one time actually going to ZNBC when I was much much younger, and you were the producer. Do not put that one on me. I'm Do telling you. I'm telling you. Go. I've had that so many times. Uh -huh. oh, I used to watch it ever since I was like a little child. I'm like, guys, I'm not a relic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a relic. You and for me, it, like it, it wasn't even just watching you, but I actually worked with you. But I I know you probably will not remember. Will not you not. Uh, realize, uh -huh. but 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 I, we don't want to go there. We don't want to go there. Okay. But the fact that you've <laughs> no, been we'll doing this, about that after the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the fact that you've been doing this for for a while. Um, I know you, you you love writing. You're telling me about this before the show oh, started. I love writing, absolutely. But how, how did you just falling in love in the media? Just fall in love with the media, rather. Just just start. How did that go about? Okay, so for me, this is something I um, kind of started. You know. Feeling, yeah. if I must say, when I was like six years old. Mm -hmm. Trust me, like I was six and I'll be there watching TV. And for some reason, at the age of six, who, can you even imagine a six year old sitting in front of TV and watching news? That was me at the age of six. Wow. Like when my dad switches on ZNBC and I'm yeah. there and I'm, I'm, I'm like glued, I'm focused, and I'll be telling my dad, especially when Maureen Kandu comes on air, I'll be like, uh -huh. Dad, Dad, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm 
morning. Yeah. I am actually going to sit at that desk and read news one day. Mm. And my dad would look at me and he would just laugh. He says, no, actually, you can do it if you want. Yeah. It's very possible. It's, it's doable. Mm. And, I, you know, for me, from that point onwards, I just told myself, for me, there was no other career other than just getting into the broadcast industry. What would you say has been has been the the craziest thing to happen while you're in air? Wow, interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. So many things, so many crazy things happen. Yeah. Um, can I, can I pinpoint and say this is the craziest thing that's ever happened? Whether it's embarrassing or it was scary for you. Uh, Maybe like you fell off while you were uh, <laughs> on set or something. No, luckily I've never, I've never had that uh, you know, situation where I fall off. But uh. I've had instances where um, you are on air, probably you're doing your makeup uh -huh. or you're even just chit-chatting and then someone just accidentally just put you on air and you're not aware mm, and you're doing mm. your stuff you're there doing your makeup and you're, you're talking and stuff like that but you're sure it was accidental I, well, <laughs> no, I wouldn't know but then there was one video that trended yeah where we had gone on a break um and then someone you know like there was an advert that is this advert where you could dance along to i think yes you saw i that saw one. that one yeah and then it was an it, ad yeah yeah i remember yeah someone got that and next thing it goes viral i'm like god why would you do that to me <laughs> but i was there in the background dancing enjoying yeah. myself yeah and obviously people were like ah, okay she's so serious when you see her on air but then mm. when you see her in the background he's like what she does oh she's actually fun and yeah I'm like, well I'm, I'm human i do have a fun side to me <laughs> I, I'm, I'm happy you brought that up because yeah. and that's why i, I asked was it accidental? Because Good maybe... I need to ask whoever got that video that it was accidental. <laughs> anyway, it was used for some show later. It was ah. used for our end of year show. But I had no idea. It was actually innocent, I think, taking those. I had no idea that he was actually taking that while I was reading the news. Ah. Yeah. I, I asked for the accident also because sometimes maybe things like this happen with, with your producer. Okay. Okay. I'm not supposed to laugh, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at the stories making headlines. President. 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 Okay. <laughs> that's not fun. I've actually seen that video trending and yeah. I'm thinking that would be very annoying if that would happen to me. Well, you're reading the news. Yeah. But you know, the caption of that is when your producer is your is your, your is your ex, ex you know? Okay. So you're thinking, you know, okay. Begin to imagine the dilemma you'd be in. Yeah. You know, if someone had to do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I yeah, that would suck. Do, do you support relationships in the in the in the workplace? Do you think they they work? Hell no. I I am I'm, I'm a strong believer of just people not particularly. I think even just in a work environment setup, particularly mm. if it's the same section. Mm. Um, imagine the dilemma of you you know outside work having fought and then you come to the office mm -hmm. and you know like just what we've seen in the video yeah. imagine your ex is up there controlling things and yeah. you're supposed to read news and they mess you up yeah. um, no, no 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 i do not i do not support that because for, for me to be honest it just messes up relationships yeah. and it's very difficult to be professional as two people in a relationship mm. i mean others manage they do pull it off but then there's just that animosity that you have towards each other so your, your whole career you've, you've never been in a relationship I, no, no, I have never been. Mm. Um, back in the day when I was in radio, I uh, had someone kind of hit on me like that. Yeah, and yeah. then obviously when I did not respond well, when I did not give them an opportunity, it did not go down well. Mm. Like, this is a technician who, when you're about to read news, they'll cut you off in the middle of reading. They'll just try and... So, so you can kind of relate to that? I can relate to that. They'll yeah. frustrate you. The good thing is that we never dated, which is good. Yeah. But the fact that I never gave, gave this person an opportunity, obviously, I kind of felt the heat. Yeah, mm. I'll be like... It, it, to a point where I would hate it when that's the person on duty. Mm. I'll just have like, oh, <laughs> no, it's, it's not, him again. It's not him again. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. I, to a point where I had to actually go and report it to say uh, ah. to my supervisor, I said, I'm not comfortable doing my work when there's that person there. Can you just, you know? So, now so can... for me, it's, that, it's actually that experience, uh, Chimweta, that mm. made me realize that you do not date people that you closely no, no, work, with, work with, no matter what. I, and you know, you know, it might not be someone you're dating, and it may not be the technician, but imagine now it's somebody you're supposed to be co-hosting with. Um, ever ever experienced that before? Yeah, I've never had that experience. That, really? Um, if, yeah, if it ever happened, I would never even allow it. Like, the minute I realize that I'm co-hosting... Yeah, you, oh, I no, no, I mean, like, for example, if you have maybe... Yeah, I mean, you argued over something with your co-host and you and you have to go on, on, on air together. Oh, as in... Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, I don't think I've ever had that kind of experience. Yeah. Luckily, I think 
I get along very well with people that I have to co-host with. Mm -hmm. I've never had that experience. And even if we did argue in the background, the beauty part is that one, we're not in a relationship. Yeah. It's good. And even if we did argue in the background, for me, I, I, I feel like when it's time to work, the minute, um, for instance, my work is to do with a camera, the minute mm. the camera is on me, I forget about all the disagreements that we had. Mm. It's time to do work. When we're done, if, if, if we want to be childish about it, we can walk offset and not talk to each other until the next time we're together. That's pretty mm. fine. That's perfectly okay with me. But when it's time to work, put on your professional hat, do your work, and then that's it. So meaning you can ever relate to this situation we're about to look at right now. Let's have a look at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, when we're finished with the news, I want my 90 kwacha back. I don't owe you. I don't owe you a 90 kwacha. It was 90 kwacha. You when did I get it from you? When you wanted that fish in the cafeteria. I don't believe it. I want it. it back when we're through with the news. I really do not believe it. I think it's 19 kwacha which I remember. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. Here is the 19 kwacha, so, <laughs> 19 hours news. <laughs> President Kaunda has commended party leaders in independent. Yeah. Obviously, we found out yeah. it was, it was, it was, it was uh, just <laughs> acted thing, out. Yeah, yeah. That was another thing acted out. Yeah. Again, the talent show. Mm -hmm. um, back in the days, NBC used to have a talent show. Mm -hmm. That obviously was done for the talent show. But um, it's relatable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is very relatable. Um, I, I can imagine in the background you having this argument. And you're only human. Yeah. Um, it, and that's like a couple seconds before you read the news. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's likely to affect you, you're only human. So the 19 Kwacha news. For me, it's very relatable, but um, I'm the kind of person that wants to think that when it's time to, you know, do my work, regardless of what relationship you and me, and, yeah. you and me have, I'll put my differences aside, do my work. Then after that, if I want to be childish about it, then, yeah, mm. I will not speak to you after that. All right. Yeah. Well, that's, I'm that's... only human, after all. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, who would you say actually is your, your favorite co-host of all time? Ooh, do I want to mention names? Do I want to be in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in a good way. Unless maybe the ones you won't mention who will get offended. Ah, uh, you know, for me, I wouldn't say I have a favorite. Uh -huh. um, I think I pretty much enjoy presenting, co hosting with whoever I'm put with on set. Um, currently, I'm doing um, um, a, a breakfast show mm -hmm. on, morning, um, on TV2 called Morning Life. Yeah. So we do get to co host with different people. There's Mary, there's um, Sonda, there's Jason. Um, but of course, Jason is a vibe. He's full of energy. So yeah. when you co-host with him, you have so much fun and you feel very comfortable. So um, I wouldn't say favorite, but it's enjoyable presenting with him. With Jason. Uh, not to say I don't enjoy presenting with the other ladies. I do. Please she just said it. <laughs> so ladies, she owes you breakfast or something. <laughs> you see, you just put me in a, in a bad position with my co-host. Yeah. But one thing also um, I love about what you your work is... The fact that you, you don't limit yourself to on air, mm -hmm. you, you're quite active on social media. You're active on, <laughs> you're on Instagram, you, you, you update your... Yeah, no, you're, you're quite active on social media, which is a good thing. Um, but look, the, the media world keeps evolving uh, all the time. There's mm -hmm. newer things you have to ad uh, adapt to and, and whatnot. How do you manage to, to, to keep up? Um, well, how do I manage to keep up? Uh, trust me, um, I, was, I was never on TikTok for the longest of time. Uh -huh. um, TikTok was a trend that like, I passed me for a bit. Yeah. And then I did a video with Mark. Mark Is he going there? Yes. Yes. I had set up the account quite okay. Uh, Dr. Bishop it. Ngongolo. Yes, I left it for the longest uh, time. Mm -hmm. And then this one time he finds me and says, come, 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 I want to do a video with you. I said, oh, uh, what video? Mm -hmm. For TikTok. I said, oh, actually, I've set up an account on TikTok, but I, I don't use it. I've mm -hmm. just left it dormant. He says, no, come, come, I'll show you how it's done. And then he shows me, he says, no, you, you just go here, you click, you da-da-da-da. Mm -hmm. And then we did a video which actually went viral. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think there was a, a part where he was singing to me, um, some, saying something like, um, um, I'm trying to remember the song is done by a Zambian artist, something about the age being... My ears, yeah, yes, yeah. that song, yes. Yeah. And it went viral. Yeah. And even for him, for the, like, he didn't have that much followers, but that gave him a whole lot of followers. Followers, yeah. Like, People actually oh. thought, someone was asking me, saying, is Patricia Ellis <laughs> and Dr. Bishop, are they married? Exactly. So now, the impression we created now, when we did the first TikTok, yeah. was that we're this couple that uh -huh. was dating and stuff. Because after that, now, another one came up where he was saying, I've just proposed, and she said yes. And uh -huh. then we did another one, Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. Where he came up with these, where he was like, 
oh i'm actually taking salamu like uh, i think he was doing an ad for um zambia airways if i'm not mistaken mm-hmm. i can't remember but yeah like i'm taking salamu mm-hmm. or meet sweet 60 because uh, then he had this name for me called sweet 16 sweet 16 mm-hmm. so meet uh, uh sweet 16s were pongoshi and stuff so we kept it going for a bit of time and obviously the whole idea was that he gets followers i get followers and, and it was from that time i said okay fine let me get busy with my tiktok account mm-hmm. and yeah for the longest of time now I've, I've got i've had quite a good following i've been lazy last couple of months but like for the first few months i was very active mm. and busy so yeah um obviously you have to go with the trends yeah uh, when it comes to social media um instagram instagram i've been doing it for a while there are other things that honestly up to now i can't get a hang of um twitter <laughs> <laughs> That makes two of us. I can't get a hang of Twitter. I don't know how it's done. Uh-huh. I, I actually have an account which I don't even remember the password to. Oh, I no. see people talking about, oh, this one has tweeted. I'm like, mm. uh, what, is that? What, what exactly is going on? I'm posting this. I'm like, I have no idea. I'm just blank as blank can be when it comes to Twitter. I, I don't know. Since, since you, you, you're, you're more active than I am. I can tell you this on Business. TikTok. So um, I don't know if you've ever experienced something like this while you're there. Oh. <laughs> Ever gone through that? <laughs> no, no, I've probably had a mosquito come. Yeah. Uh, you know, like where a mosquito is bothering you, it's coming right in your face. Yeah. Um, but you, you see the thing, funny thing about that, that's, that's, so that's a filter. So it's not an I actual, know, yeah. I know, But in actual, in, a, uh-huh. in real life, I've actually had a mosquito come right. While you're making a yes. video. Yes. No, like while I'm doing news. Really? Yes. Like a mosquito, it's right in my face. Obviously, the viewers probably might not see it, uh-huh. but it's there. You know how irritating. Exactly, can exactly. Be? Um, I, I was, I actually once had a fly <laughs> come in my face, that it started bothering me, and I'm thinking, fly, get away from me! I'm in the middle of reading news. I'm going to embarrass myself. So you just had to wait for the mosquito to go on its own. The thing is, I, I found ways of trying to, you know, push it, but I'm there. I'm like looking all, um, uh, serious. Uh-huh. You know, like. Uh, girl, get a hold of yourself because you're going to embarrass yourself. But the minute I had a break, I had to just get the papers and kill that mosquito. Oh, so, so what happens if you're reading and then it just starts to land on your on your face? Well, you just have to ignore it. And, and take the bite. Yeah, ignore it. I, 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 I once worked with... Um, he used to be in the broadcasting industry. His name was um, Joseph Kuluneta. I don't know if you heard about him. He died um, some some years back. So he was giving us this little training program um, when he just joined us at 5 FM Radio, because I used to be 5 FM Radio. So he was telling me, he says, you know, so many things happen to you as a broadcaster. So it's how you handle that situation and do not ri- uh, raise alarm. So he tells us about this guy who used to work for BBC. His name was Mike something, I can't remember the last name. So apparently this guy was busy doing his program and then um, back in the day you had those mics that would come from up there. Mm-hmm. From, exactly. You know, like yeah. The, yeah. So now apparently this mic got 40 and it started coming down while he's presenting. Imagine you're sitting there and your mic is coming down yeah, and yeah. it goes right in your face. Mm. So now Mike is thinking, how do I deal with this situation? How do I alert? Because the people haven't noticed upstairs to say, Mike, the mic is in, in the face of Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's in the Mike's mic face. Is, yeah, the mic is in Mike's <laughs> so face. So now Mike thought, let me be clever about it and just go, um, oh, hi, Mike, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> so now when he says that, everyone upstairs is like, oh, the mic Mike, is yeah. Out. It's in Mike's face. face yeah. That's when now they quickly raise it up. Yeah. So obviously when you're a broadcaster and you're in front of TV, you have to quickly react in, such, in a certain way that you don't uh, make it look like you're nervous or like it throws you off balance you just have to find a clever way of dealing with it it happens even when you're reading news you will bump in the middle of the script and then you just quickly go oh i beg your pardon or just quickly you know correct yourself quickly and and, and move and on handle it without yeah. making people panic sure it happens to you when you're presenting as well it happens a lot and you know what in fact, we'll make sure the, the Diamond TV con- uh, presenter search contestants are watching this show because there's a lot of tips <laughs> you're getting for free right now on the show. If you want to be in the in the media space, you're welcome because you're getting amazing tips right here with our guest, Patricia Ellis. We still have more coming up on uh, Try Not To Laugh. I've got uh, one more video to show her and much more to get into. So just to go around. Welcome back. You're still watching Try Not To Laugh. 
Now remember to follow us on our various social media platforms. We are active on all of them you can think of. We are streaming live right now on our Facebook page, Diamond TV Zambia. You can also uh, catch us on our TikTok handle, at Diamond TV Zambia. Twitter, at Diamond TV Zambia. Instagram, at Diamond TV Social. And not miss out on your favorite shows, plus exclusive shows for each particular platform. Even on our YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to, Diamond TV Zambia, and watch crazy shows like the Mapenzis of this world, Makwacha, and much more. Right now, you're watching Try Not To Laugh, and my guest still is Patricia Ellis. And uh, we continue having interesting conversations. And uh, if you are interested in being in the broadcast space, yeah, we know you're, you're still tuned in right now. Uh, a lot of gems that we're sharing, a lot of things that you know, sometimes people don't realize that goes on in the background. But what's, what's your favorite time of the year, season of the year to, to work? Like right now, it's cold. Others prefer when it's cold. Others prefer when it's hot. Even though most times in these studios, it's quite cold either way. But what's your favorite season of the year to, to work? Hmm. Oh, that gets you most productive. Have I ever really thought about the season where I'm like, most interested to work? For me, I mm. think it's all year round. All year round, eh? Yeah. So whether it's hot for you, uh, it no. doesn't affect your work? No, it doesn't affect my work in any way. Um, for me, I, I it's a passion. So whether it's cold, whether it's hot, whether it's raining, I have to get up and be at work. Mm. Of course, rainy seasons can be discouraging because obviously yeah. you just feel like, uh, okay, today's not such a good weather to go out. But for me, honestly speaking, any weather for me is perfectly fine. I, I, I wouldn't say about the weather when I would like to work. Um, when you're passionate about what you do, Timweka, I, I don't think seasons really will hamper you or will deter you from going for work. Um, Ish, I don't know about the cold season though. Oof. Oh, you're here working, so. <laughs> <laughs> meaning, meaning you love your work. So if you if you left your yeah. your, your warm bed and yeah. you come and come and do this program, yeah. I, I would like to think you love your job so you will show up regardless of the season. I, I want to find out if you, uh, well, I guess not. You, maybe you might not be able to relate to this okay. because uh, you, you're okay with the cold. Mm. Hey, Le lunch le samba na la samba seventeen hours. Proud. Dirt on the body. But I still look fresh. Okay, this one I can't help but. I still look good. You don't even know why, I, why I'm laughing. Uh, no, it's very relatable. Trust uh -huh. me. Um, so are you saying the times Patricia Ellis is looking good on TV, but she hasn't taken a bath that morning? I, I don't know about going on TV without uh, bathing, but like when I decide to just tell myself I'm giving myself a weekend. In, I'm not going out anywhere. There are times when I would actually go an entire weekend without bathing. <laughs> <laughs> I I would do what's needed to be done, but uh -huh. then the whole entire weekend I'll be in my pajama. I yeah. just eat, sleep, watch TV, and then probably think about bathing maybe Sunday evening. Oh, but so so does this mean you stay indoors the whole time, or you 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 make a few? Moves no, outside. But, 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 but then, just to correct that, it's uh -huh. all the time. I just have my times. Once in a blue moon where I'll be super lazy, but not all the time. Yes. And uh, just for, for, for the record, I, I think I've ever gone on TV without bathing. Really? <laughs> no, I bath. I make sure I bath. I wonder how many broadcasters can, can say that. My goodness. Uh -huh. No, My I, goodness. I, I think the whole time I've gone, I've bathed. So even if you're, like, you're, you're running late or something, like, oh, oh my goodness. You, 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 you just have to take that back. No, I'll take a quick shower. I'll take a quick shower. What I will probably won't do is, yeah. point, I won't do my makeup, I won't sort out my hair. Yeah. But I'll make sure that quick shower, uh, pick up my things. Sometimes I'll even leave with just, you know, like, I'll even leave in my chitengi, but just make sure I pick up whatever I need to pick up, dump them in the car, dash to work. Yeah. Yeah. But then the, the shower has to happen. <laughs> Patricia yeah. Ellis, thank you so much for coming through on the show today. Thank you. I, you know, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll let you in a little I, secret, I tried, right? I tried, I tried so hard not to laugh, but you brought in funny videos. What do you expect <laughs> me to do? <laughs> Job well done to our producer as well. Uh, big ups to you for, for doing so. Yeah. But I don't really know why, because you're saying um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not very used to being on the other side. You're used to, to, to being the, the host. Okay. But you did pretty well as a guest, so well done to you as well. Thank you. I guess I'm getting a hang of this. We should be having you more often on, on Diamond TV. <laughs> okay. But this has been my guest, Patricia Ellis, and we have tried to see her try not to laugh. Um, clearly hasn't been successful. But how's it been on your end as well? Keep being interactive with us also via the Diamond TV Zambia Facebook page. Thanks to you as well for tuning in to the show. 
Do stick around for more on Diamond TV, the news desk at 8. Also, you can look out for more shows via our social media handles and get entertained on the go, especially through the AHL TV app. My name is Chumaka. Good night. Thank you.